In this video you will learn how to install the single phase EV charging inverter. This is the inverter. These are the main components. The on off P switch. Connection unit interfaces. EV charger cable connector. EV charger LED. Communication gland. EV charger push button. DC plus and minus connectors. And the last one, the AC input and output. Make sure you allow proper heat dissipation with ensuring minimum clearance areas. Let's move on to the installation. We start by mounting the inverter. Position the mounting bracket against the wall and mark the drilling hole locations. Drill the holes and mount the bracket. Fasten the bracket using a standard bolt and verify that the bracket is firmly attached to the mounting surface. Hang the inverter on the bracket. Mark the location of the connection unit bracket and remove the inverter. Then, drill the hole and insert the bolt. Hang the inverter on the bracket, and then insert the two supplied screws on both sides of the inverter and firmly tighten them to the bracket. Then, secure the connection unit to the wall. The EV charging single phase inverter is now mounted. Now, let's connect the AC and the DC strings to the connection unit. To connect AC grid and grounding turn off the AC circuit breaker. Open the inverter and the connection unit cover by releasing the Allen screws. Now, carefully move the cover horizontally before lowering it. Next, open the connection unit's cover. Now, let's identify the major components inside the connection unit. Here is the DC and AC RCD. The AC terminal block. And last, the circuit breaker dip switches. Let's connect the AC grid cable. Strip the required length of the external and internal cables insulation. Open the AC cable gland. Connect the AC wires according to the labels on the terminal block. Make sure the AC wires are firmly connected. Then, close the AC gland around the cable external insulation. Next, we connect the DC connectors of each string to the DC plus and DC minus connectors according to the labels on the connection unit. Verify that the connectors are firmly inserted and locked. The SolarEdge EV charging single phase inverter supports full network connectivity and integrates seamlessly with the SolarEdge monitoring platform with Ethernet, Wi-Fi or cellular plug-in and Zigbee. Next step is the Ethernet connection. For Ethernet use CAT5 or CAT6 twisted pair cable type with a RJ45 connector. Finally, connect the Ethernet cable to the RJ45 interface on the communication card. Now, close the inverter and the connection unit covers. Connect the inverter to Ethernet, then to AC and turn on the AC circuit breaker. Observe the local regulations and technical rules when connecting to the AC mains. That's it. You're all done. The inverter is now connected to DC, AC and communication. For commissioning the installation, please use the setup walkthrough movie.